What's up guys, it's your boy Zach Hobson, and today we'll be discussing six Dodge Vipers you didn't know were Dodge Vipers. The Dodge Viper was initially conceived in late 1988 underneath the then Chrysler President Bob Lutz. Production started in 1992 and ended in 2017. In between production there were different variants of the Viper. Let's take a look. First up on the list, the Alfa Romeo TZ3. You're probably thinking, why is an Alfa Romeo on the Dodge Viper list? But the Alfa Romeo TZ3 was a previous generation Dodge Viper ACRX in a track prepared version. Alfa only dressed the Viper in a Zagato body, but left the all important mechanical components. Also, they left the massive 8.2 liter engine intact. Even the interior was the same, but they changed all the badges from Dodge to Alfa Romeo. The TZ3 had a supercar beating performance with 600 horsepower. 0 to 60 times in 3.4 seconds and a top speed of 200 miles per hour. However, despite the fancy new Italian suit, the V10 engine, perfect driving dynamics, and legendary name, Alpha only sold 9 copies. And they sold none in America, even though all the mechanics came from the Dodge Viper, which is a US made car. Next up, the Bristol Fighter. Like Alpha, Bristol is another company who used the Dodge Viper to produce its own creation. They custom made the chassis with a special body featuring gall wing doors and a long hood. And even though the design of the fighter had no resemblance to other Bristol cars, it carries the tradition of using Chrysler engines. In fact, this sports car has an 8 liter V10 from the Dodge Viper they rated at 525 horsepower. With 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration times of around 4 seconds and a top speed over 200 miles per hour, it was one of the fastest cars when they introduced it. Production ended in 2011 with only 13 of the cars built. much about this one. But in the 90s, to promote their new sports car even more, Chrysler decided to sponsor a TV show called Viper. The main character drove a highly customized Viper in the special silver you see above. The TV show wasn't successful, so they cancelled it after a few seasons. But the car became somewhat of a cult object among Dodge Viper fans. Chrysler built several examples for shooting, and most of them survived. Now they reside in collections all over the country. Next we have the Devon GTX. They conceived the GTX as the ultimate American sports car using the Dodge Viper RT10 at the basis. The engine came with numerous modifications and they upgraded the power to 650 horsepower. The GTX used the same 6-speed manual with an improved performance and top speeds. And it even broke a few track records during testing. Unfortunately, the economic downturn and recession of 2009 through 2010 hit the car industry especially hard causing problems among car makers. So, Chrysler decided to kill the Viper project and discontinued the production of platforms and engines. This affected the Devon's production of the GTX, and even though Devon tried to buy the rights of the Viper's platform, Chrysler rejected the bid. This caused the company to close after building just a few pre-production cars. What do you think about combining a Viper chassis with the legendary Hemi V8? In 2005, Chrysler used the Viper platform to introduce the firepower concept. Also, it was an exercise in building a luxury sports car with a high horsepower engine. The power came from a 6.1 liter Hemi V8 that delivered 425 horsepower. And it could launch this luxury cruiser to 4.5 seconds and 0 to 60 mile per hour times. Lastly, we have the VLF Force One. Automotive executive Bob Lutz, one of the original creators of the Dodge Viper, teamed up with car designer Henrik Fresker to create the newest American supercar company they called VLF. So, in 2016, VLF presented the Force One. It was a supercar they based on the Dodge Viper chassis. Also, 
they use the same 8.4 liter V10 engine that now pumps out 745 horsepower. The new supercar features a redesigned body and wheels, but best of all, it's capable of reaching 60 miles per hour in just three seconds. If you like and want more content like this, please like and subscribe to Dio Street Racing and Performance. Thank you.